Okay, it's Don back again, uh, drblast.com. Here is the spring compressed. Quite a bit, quite a bit of stress in there. Um, I'm going to try to align this. I don't think it's going to do it too well. I'm going to try to align the spring so the bottom retainer part. It's hard to see in there, even with the light. Let me try to hold the camera steady. Reposition the light. I don't know if that's going to do any good. Let me just angle it down a bit. I'm going to try to reposition, as I said, the bottom part of the spring so it goes into the notch in the lower control arm. And that's just done by spinning it a little bit. Uh, but there's again this is under a lot of pressure a lot of stress is in here and I certainly don't want to be pushing it around too much and here it is coming through the top the bolt that long shaft maybe I could somehow move it I don't think this is gonna do that but but anyways this is the general gist of what we've got going on here. The spring is loaded right now and I'm going to undo that and attempt to set that spring. Take the whole spring itself and turn it about an inch inside there. Can't really do that too well holding the camera but I wanted to try to show the YouTubers out there exactly what you'll see on yours. GM product. Um, try to move that a little bit. I don't think I can. Just trying to bring that shaft up through the top of the shock mount, but oh well. Anyways, also if you've been following along, this knuckle here. What do you think is on there? Nothing. That is pure cast iron after being media blasted and glass beaded to shut the pores on that to give it a kind of a sort of a shine same piece up here with this bar that holds the upper control arm in place and also the same with that bar over there and I've done it also on the bottom you can see under here and under there is the same thing on both sides Okay, this is an 81 Corvette. I'm going to go ahead and release the spring tension on that. Before I do, I'm going to show you over here on the table some of the other components for the car. My fiberglass kit, what's left of it, and the fiberglass material. New brake lines, etc. Rear hubs. Let me show you these trailing arms. These trailing arms were rebuilt by Paragon Reproductions up in Minnesota, I think it is. And it's very critical to go out there having the same kind of car that this bushing end is put in properly and correctly. The owner of the car told me that he had a shop do this work and they didn't do it correctly and when he tried to put the bolt through he had to take a file and file out the inside. Um, just Google it, find some videos on it, it'll give you a little bit of pointers on what to do. Again, if you need a plumber, hire a plumber. If you need a done right, hire a professional. Um, and be professional in what you do. That's what I strive to be and do. Anyways, as we say in Germany, Tschüss and Sabbath.